The Boeing company did a study about 25 years ago that indicated that as the world began to fly more, as the worldwide airline fleets increased, if we didn't decrease the accident rate, we would soon get to a point where the absolute number of accidents was going to become untenable. They predicted into the future we would reach a point where we would lose an airliner a week around the world. You probably know in healthcare right now, including hospital or healthcare acquired conditions and errors, 200,000 lives are lost in this country alone every year. That's 20 jumbo jets a week crashing with no survivors. I can tell you in my domain, if that were to happen, what our reaction would be. About the second or third day, we would do what we did on September 11, 2001. There'd be a nationwide ground stop. Fleets would be grounded, airlines would shut down, airports would close. No one would push off at the gate until we'd solve the problems. There'd be a presidential commission, congressional hearings, the NTSB would investigate. There'd be a joint government industry task force, similar to what we have had as the commercial aviation safety team since the mid-90s. Why? Because airline accidents are relatively rare. They involve many people at once. They're dramatic. They're noteworthy. They're newsworthy. We have achieved what we always must achieve in any democracy to prompt action, public awareness, and political will to change. What would it take? What is it taking in your domain where the, the deaths are one or two at a time, more or less hidden from you, thought of by some, perhaps by many, as an unavoidable consequence of care? What if we changed our point of view, as many of you no doubt already have? What if we began to think of these deaths as unavoidable and thought of them instead as inexcusable?